Today, we're going to be looking at the IMI Defense AK-74 magazine. Um, IMI also makes an AK-47 magazine, and that's this one right here. And uh, I haven't actually used it or uh, used it in the gun, but uh, it looks like it's a pretty solid uh, plastic magazine. This one is also uh, plastic, and I ran a magnet over it, and it does not have any kind of steel reinforcement in it. Um, it's competing, or it's, well, I guess it's actually trying to look like, this is a, uh, I think this is a Tula or Ishmish uh, Russian magazine. This is one of the originals, and we can see it's trying to look like that. Um, like your standard AK-47, I mean AK-74 magazine, but uh, it doesn't have any kind of steel in it like this one does. Now this is a Bulgarian uh, commercial that uh, is probably in the same market as the IMI. Um, this one does have some steel reinforcement in the sides here, but it doesn't in the locking tabs here. So that's probably uh, the closest one out there and they look a lot alike, don't they? So, very interesting. I mean, they really look alike. So we kind of know what marketplace they're going after. And this is the new uh, Magpul AK-74 magazine. And it's a, of course it looks different. It looks like a Magpul magazine. So without further ado, uh, let's take an AK-74 and see what happens. I haven't actually put this in the gun yet. And uh, let's see what happens. So. Rifle is unloaded, and uh, let's just see what happens here. Hmm. There we go. Okay, locked up pretty good. There we go. Shouldn't do that upside down. A little wiggle. Probably a little more than the mag pull. Uh, but let's see. Seems to be okay. Let's see what it uh, releases. And it does. Um, this was 15 bucks. Uh, I got it at our guns in Carpentersville, Illinois. And uh, so I place that I know it sells these mags actually. So if you need one, that's where you want to go get it. Um, I understand that there is um, steel reinforced tabs available, but I guess it's like a special order or contract, whatever. So they're trying to go after that market too. And we all know, if you have an AK-74, how much fun it is. It's actually a really good gun. Hmm. Uh, let's try it this way. Hmm. There we go. A little too deep there. But uh, it does have a little wiggle in there. That's, uh, uh, that's definitely not a positive for me. Uh, let's, try the, let's try the Bulgarian commercial. There's some more wiggle in there than that, so that's this one functions fine. And here's the Russian. And there's a little wiggle in there too. So, and I think the Magpul actually is pretty tight, so it's tighter. But uh, a little wi wiggle's okay. I mean that's uh, that's not an issue with magazines as long as they function correctly. So we put these aside and we'll just uh, focus on our uh, AK-74 magazine. Okay, uh, let's weigh this thing. Uh, this is grams. It's 192.1 grams. And that's 6.776 ounces. Okay. Let's take this thing apart and uh, see what's inside. Okay, we have, I'm going to take just a standard 5.45 bullet here. Press in this button here. Now I understand these magazines go back, uh, this base slides off backwards. So let's see what we got here. Well, that was really springy. <laughs> okay, that's a long spring. That is a long spring. Okay, I'm going to take apart the Bulgarian commercial. Okay, actually that uh, spring is a little bit longer. Okay, that shows you how often I take these things apart. <laughs> uh, so, very similar. Uh, you know, I mean, it's almost... 
I think somebody copied somebody here. <laughs> if I had to say, I would say, uh, well, I guess where can you go with an AK-74 magazine? You know, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, the bases are definitely different, and I would have to go with the IMI on that one. I think they're a little bit uh, more appealing quality-wise. This is just a piece of stamped metal, which, you know, serves its purpose too. But this is a much more solid piece of plastic. Um, there's a little flex in here with the plastic. This one doesn't have as much. A little bit, but not much. So... Uh, I'd probably give the edge in the plastic to the IMI, uh, but then again, I understand there is some steel reinforcement in here somewhere. So this one does not have it, so that's uh, let's see. Uh, this one has something going on in here. It's like a an internal rib in here. This one is smooth, so there's something a little different in the, the mold itself. But as you can see, they really, if you can see the lighting in there, I don't know if that works, but yeah, it's uh, very, very similar. So, so that's pretty much it. A uh, little give, not much. It's a very good, good quality plastic. This one has a little more give, I can feel it. It's a little thinner plastic, I'd have to say. So. For what it is, it's a, a very nice magazine. Okay, let's uh, load it up with 30 rounds of uh, 5.45 Silver Bear here, and let's see what we've got. Okay. Two. Seven, three. 28. 29. And 30. Yeah, that's it. So that's 30. And, uh... Seems to be pretty smooth up here, no problems with your fingers. Um, it's probably going to be broken in a little bit, but other than that, it uh, looks pretty good. Let's just drop it. it seemed to, nothing popped out. So I think we're okay. So that's the IMI AK74 magazine in 5.45 by 39. Um, it's about 15 bucks. Um, you know, it's a, pretty much a standard AK-74 magazine. It's not steel reinforced. Um, looks like good solid plastic, and uh, you know, it's uh, worth what it is. So, we get a little a hole there, telling us that we're loaded, and uh, probably uses for drainage too. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.